guys, Mama Vanna Perfume Down Bag at you with another fragrance video. If you love fragrance, if you love smelling good, if you love smelling good, <laughs> go ahead, like this video if you like this video, because how would I know if you like this video? If you won't like this video, I won't know that you like this video. So like this video if you like this video. Also, comment below if you have any suggestions of videos you want to see. I'll try to get those out to you. Hit me up on Instagram. It's Mama Vanna Perfume Down on there. And let's get into this video. So today, I want to share with you guys, you already saw that I have my best blind buys. I'm going to show you my worst. It's only fair, okay? I also need to do a part two. Let me know if you want to see a part two of the best blind buys video. Whoo, that's such a tongue twister from why. Let me know if you want to see that and let's get into this video. Now, I need to preface this video by saying that it doesn't necessarily mean that I dislike these fragrances or I never wear these fragrances. Some of these fragrances I do wear and I'm happy I have them in my collection. But I have to say that the idea of blind buy is that you've never smelled them before. You don't know exactly how they smell. And I have to say that all of these, had I known, had I known how they smell, which is not necessarily a bad smell, I just probably wouldn't have purchased them with my money at this point in my life if I did know um, how they smelled. So let's get into it. Okay, the first one is going to be from Betsy Johnson. <laughs> if you've been with me for a long time, if you've been in my Perfume Mafia for months and months and months, then you know how I feel about this girl right here. Um, I'm not going to get heavy into the notes and everything, and I'm not even going to spray most of these because of <laughs> obvious <laughs> reasons. But this one's a very musky, musky, musky scent. I don't actually hate it. And sometimes I do wear it if I just want some fragrance on for the day. You know, desperate times come for, call for desperate measures. Um, but this fragrance, had I known how it smelled, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. Because by the packaging, I thought that it was going to be like a fun, flirty, maybe a little bit sweet, dare I say. Because um, Betsy Johnson usually has a younger demographic. So I thought she, actually I thought she was going to do a very fruity, like a super fruity girly fragrance but this is not her this is a grown woman scent and i'm just not a huge fan so had i known i wouldn't have purchased it okay the next one is going to be from burberry and actually i'm not mad that i have this in my collection because it is it is very grown um it just reminds me of like a light floral fresh musky maybe some soft woods maybe some sandalwood in there that kind of scent but this is burberry touch for women i don't know why everyone tells me whenever i put this up everyone reassures me that this is for men but it literally says in plain english burberry touch for woman can you see that i need you to see it but look look come closer this is very, very touch for women, and I just wouldn't have purchased it had I known how it smells, um, because I'm just not really into this type of scent profile. But it, but you know what? It's very professional, and I think it's really good for the office space, um, if we ever enter that space again. But it's definitely getting a lot less use. It got a lot of... It didn't get a lot of use previously, but it's getting even less now, so definitely wouldn't have purchased it had i known okay the next one is going to be calvin klein women and this is the eau de twilight i think they do have an eau de parfum i don't know um but i just usually calvin klein is a safe fragrance this is a safe fragrance it's just like a light floral musky type fragrance uh fresh again but dare i say it's a little bit peppery maybe a little bit i don't know that maybe it's like a little base or something peppery but i'm just not huge into it the only reason why i'm happy i purchased it because like that's kind of cool like the packaging is cool but other than that it just sits and it rots um and had i known what i know now i wouldn't have done what i did but it also was a really good deal most of these are really good deals to be quite honest that's why we blind buy right why do you guys blind buy drop it below i want to know why do people blind buy let me know do you blind buy because it's like a really good deal and you just want to jump on it or just for fun or like what, what's your motivation? I think maybe I'm assuming that everyone has the same motivation. I could be very incorrect. I keep reaching down because I got this big old box of crap. Oh, well, I don't mean to, uh, to break them. But anyways, the next one that we have is going to be from, you know, I always give this fragrance crap. Nothing new. Lola Marc Jacobs. First blind buy, wish I would have learned my, my lesson then. But you know what? This is actually, I don't know if it's turning over time, but it's starting to smell a little bit like waxy, kind of like 
red lipstick. If you if you've smelled that Maison Martin Margiela, the one that smells like the 1950 red lipstick, it smells like that, but like with none of the charm. It smells a little bit spicy, floral, that kind of fragrance. Um, I'm just not woman enough for this fragrance at this moment in my life, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will really like this one. Um, but the packaging is what drew me in. I thought it was such beautiful packaging, and it is. It's beautiful to set on your vanity, but I wouldn't have uh, purchased it had I known how it actually smelled, especially because I purchased that one like 10 years ago, so I was like a kid, and that just wasn't my judge. Okay, the next one that we have is two for sad girl Jennifer Aniston. I hate to say this because this is my Aquarian sister, you know, but this is Jennifer Aniston, near dusk, very strong, uh, musky, sandalwood kind of a scent. I didn't expect this. I almost smell like straight up sand. Like, girl, why did you do this to us? I just expected so much more for her, especially like a beachy scent. I'm all about a beachy scent, but this is not a beachy scent. This is a B-I-T-C scent. No, I'm joking. Um, the next one that we have from Jennifer Anderson is J. And let me actually remind myself how this scent smells. Because, like, this girl don't get no love. It kind of smells the same. So, this one I feel like maybe it smells a little bit more beachy. I don't know if this has coconut in there, but it kind of smells like coconut a little bit. Still smells like it has like almost like some sandalwood woodiness, some musk, maybe some white florals. Um, but I also wouldn't have purchased this, even though it was very cheap, had I known how it smelled. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be from Cabotine de Gras. And I know I'm going to upset some people because this is like a cult favorite. This is a very polarizing scent. Either you love it or you, ha you hate it. It's a Sheepra to the bone. Baby to the bone. It's very green, extremely green. Um, and it just smells like the 90s. If you can imagine how Fiona Apple and Paula Cole would smell, this is how they would smell. But um, I don't know if it's for me. I don't know if it's for me. It's a little bit of a dated scent profile now. It's nice to have in the collection again. I'm not upset I have in my collection because I was able to do videos like how I did the vintage scents video for you guys. And it's nice to know and be familiar with different scents and how they were through the decades for that reason i'm happy i had it and it was a good great deal but i don't know if i would have purchased it had i known what i know okay the next one that we have is going to be from calvin klein calvin klein oh you got me you got me a few times old calvin um there's another one in, oh there's two more from <laughs> from him uh, so that's four four cents from calvin that i just wasn't a huge fan of this is ck1 a shock for her and you know what this is actually growing on me over time and I, I don't hate it it has like what a like a blackberry a berry note and supposedly vanilla but very fresh and very light I don't hate this scent I wear this scent around the house it's nice for when you get out the shower you don't want something that's like very clawing something to punch you in the nose pow 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 but it's just okay to me and I, I wouldn't have repurchased had I known how it smells but I don't hate it but yeah, that's from Calvin Klein, CK1 Shock for her. The next one that we have is from, you know, I'm, a, I'm not going to do all Calvin at once. The next one that we have is from Mariah Carey. This is M. I know, gasp and horror. Kill her. Yes, I, I respect this fragrance, but I don't chill with this fragrance, you know? Um... It has a very strong uh, spicy patchouli note, which is fine. Like, I don't dislike this fragrance, and I actually do wear this fragrance sometimes. Um, actually, that reminds me. Some of you guys wanted to see a fragrance of, like, scents you wear when you want to intimidate someone. That's really funny. I thought that was hilarious. I'll do that. You know, that's, you know, we like to keep it wacky over here. I also wanted to do a video of Tiger Scents video. Um, no, Tiger King, those type of scents video. And then I also wanted to do, ah, I can't wait. <laughs> I also have a fragrance tag, a sexy one. Ooh, a judge, judge. A sexy fragrance tag video coming up. So I'm excited, y'all. Okay, but anyways, this fragrance, it has that spicy layer of patchouli, and then it, it dries down to a nice marshmallow note. But you gotta fight through, you gotta make it through that struggle love of that uh, patchouli, which is just not my judge. And had I known what I know, I wouldn't have purchased it. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be from Aqua de Parma. I know, Aqua de Parma. 
Now, I'm happy I have in my collection again. It reminds me of Creed, Green Irish Tweed. And uh, if I ever have a boyfriend in this life, if I'm ever allowed to have a boyfriend at this point, then I would definitely kick this over to him. Like, yo, I think you would really like this one. But it has that lavender note, so a little bit calming, a little bit herbal. Uh, uh, I think it also has the um, bergamot in there. So a little bit zesty citrus. Um, is it as a mint? Yeah, I think it has refreshing, like a mint, peppermint type of scent. Unique. I'm happy I tried it, but if I would have smelled it, I don't think I would have purchased it. But it's nice to have something from this brand because I, that's the only one I have from Aqua de Parma. Got a great deal on it that too. That's why I purchased it. Okay, the next one is from Perry Ellis. I know a lot of people were like, what? I actually don't hate this one, and this is another one that I wear. Um, the coral scent, it's like a peachy, I think it's a peachy, musky, white floral kind of a fragrance. It's just, it, it just reminds me of the church women. When I smell it, I just think of the women in the church that just look so beautiful on every Sunday. Like Easter was just upon us, and I just feel like this smells like the women in church on Easter for some reason. Um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say because, you know, I ain't trying to be disrespectful. I ain't trying to be disrespectful. All right. The next one that we have is going to be from Juicy. Juicy Couture. I think this is the namesake fragrance, the OG before. The Viva La Juicy range took over everything and they decided, oh, we need 20 flankers. I just want to change the color just a little bit on each one. They had this one and it's a very strong fragrance. It's very strong. Yeah, I don't know. It smells just very regal, very elegant. Like how it has this like crust. Crest? Is it? No, I'm sorry, not crust. <laughs> oh, crusty crest on top of the brand. Uh, that's how it smells. It smells like old money. Um, you smell like, you know, I'm not going to be disrespectful. <laughs> you smell like running out of money. But anyways, yeah, that's how that smells. As you can see, I've had it for, well, you don't know how long I've had it for, but let me tell you, I've had it for years, Sweet Tea Honey, and we're still at the top, so I think this may be one that I either sell or give away, but yeah, very floral. It kind of reminds me, if you like a Chanel number no. 5 OG fragrance, then you would probably like that one. It's along the same lines, to be quite honest. Next one that we have is going to be from Bravgari. Bolvagari. I can never pronounce this, but this is Ote Verk. You know what? I'm happy I have it in my collection, but this was a blind buy. Literally smells like straight up green tea, and I just don't reach for it that often. Um, it's very clean. It's like green, but kind of like sweet the way nature does sweet, not like sappy sweet. Um, but yeah, it just smells like sweet greens for some reason. That's about it. Wouldn't have purchased it had I known. The next one that we have is going to be yet another Mariah Carey. This one is going to be the very musky. This, this one has like the sparkly Bellini note. Um, this is Luscious Pink by Mariah Carey. And I just never wear it. It's not it's not really for me. It's it's kind of like a glamorous scent, that kind of thing. Um, smells like, you know, it's, it reminds me of like Lisa Ray if she was a fragrance. Very glamorous, um, very womanly, sparkly, shrink, sh sh drinking champagne, that kind of scent. Um, but yeah, I just wouldn't have purchased it had I known. I hate that, you know, I don't really like to bash fragrances because everyone likes something different for a certain reason. And that's why I don't want to bash these, but it just it's just the fact that had I known how they smelled beforehand, I just know that I wouldn't have gone through and handed them my card and then typed in my number or like uh, did the tap or whatever, how we do it these days, and then sign the receipt and then walk out of there and then bring it up the stairs to my place and then open the door and then stow it away. Had I known how they smelled, I just know. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be from JLo. I know, shocking. This is Enduring Glow. And it's all right. Like, it's an all right scent. It's kind of like fruity, fresh. It's just okay. I, you know what? I like it. 
I do like it, but I didn't get the best deal on it. And I was just expecting to love it as much as I love Glow. Um, but I don't. And had I known how it smells, which is just an okay, fruity, fresh scent, then I wouldn't have purchased it. It kind of reminds me of the Jessica Simpson uh, Fancy Love. If you like that kind of fragrance, then you would like that one. Okay. The last two, actually these aren't the last two, but these two are both from Calvin Klein. Deep Euphoria, spicy woody scent. Um, also smells a little bit like waxy a little bit. For some reason, I'm like about to sneeze. It always just smells like straight up pepper to me, but very spicy, almost like a oud kind of a scent, oud Arabic incense type of scent. Um, that one, I don't know why I purchased it, um, but that one's a little bit too mature for me. And then also Truth by Calvin Klein. This one's like a fresh, woody, earthy green kind of a scent, and it's very unisex as well, but I wouldn't have purchased it how I, had I known. I know you guys are probably like, dang, we, we could get it. It's the name of the video. I know. But I just want to keep reiterating that so you can know it so it can be in your head. And when you're cooking yourself an omelet, you'll be like, I wouldn't have purchased it, but I know. <laughs> I just want to get that in your brain. You know, that's that's why I'm here. Okay, the last one is going to be from Tommy, little Tommy, the two American designer icons, Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, and then what's the last one? Kenneth Cole. I don't actually own any Kenneth Cole. Uh, fragrances but yeah so this is Tommy Hilfiger this is pear blossom very fresh very clean which is fine but it's not as much pear as I thought it would have and I actually love pear so I was disappointed by that and that's why but that's that video if you guys like fragrance if you love smelling good and if you like this video please like this video and I will catch you guys in the next video <laughs>